What's up guys, Chimp here, and welcome back to another Madden 22 video, and today, we're going to be rebuilding the Chicago Bears. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm going through the entire Madden team order, so they basically start off with the Bears, and then I think the Bengals, so, yeah, the Bengals is pretty much next. The Bears are a decent team. What they did, and this was a huge part of their offseason, was they got a quarterback, which they've not had in quite some time. It, it, it's not been very pretty. You know, Mike Glennon, Jay Cutler, Mitch Trubisky. It's not been very good. And it looked like they were going into another season of misery for quarterback play after they signed Andy Dalton to a one-year $10 million deal, I want to say. Uh... That that was just not worth it, in my opinion. But what was worth it was selecting this man right here at number 11 overall, Justin Fields. I think he's going to be unbelievable in the NFL. He was looking really, really good in the preseason matchups. Uh, other than that, though, we do have a ton of pieces here on this team, such as David Montgomery. Only 24 years old, 82 overall. This guy could definitely be the future at our running back position. And they also have Khalil Herbert at a 70 overall. He was a really late pick in the 2021 draft. So I don't I don't know why, but I, I guess... I, 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 I don't know why, that's all. Allen Robinson is a really good receiver. He, he, he's really, really, really good. And 98 catching speaks for itself. So don't ask questions about Robinson. He's a great player. Darnell Mooney had a really good rookie season, or at least good for a sixth-round pick standards, but he was way better than how any of us imagined he would be, right? But 89 catching, 93 speed, 87 spec catch. Darnell Mooney, I think, is probably going to go in our slot just so he can get the most targets. And then Anthony Miller, of course, was traded, so now we have Marquise Goodwin, 30 years old, he can fly, but he's 30 years old. It's just, it's he's too old. Demir Bird is 28 years old. We don't really have much of the receiving core after Darnell Mooney, so that is that is definitely something we are looking to develop. Cole Komet will probably be our starting tight end. I think that's better than starting Jimmy Graham. Offensive line, Jason Peters is 39 years old. He's a Hall of Famer, and no one can say otherwise. He's also a 75 overall, 39 years old. It's just, it's not worth giving him a contract. Is he getting paid like a left tackle? If, if so, then he's getting traded. All right, he isn't. I mean, he wouldn't have had value anyway, but still. I would, I would just muster whatever I could for him. Cody Whitehair is in here. I want to say he played center last year, but I'm not, I, I can't confirm that, but... He's a pretty good player. Stephen Mustafer, no, who is not is not who this is. It's Sam Mustafer. I've never heard of him. Uh, is in here as well. James Daniels is 23, 23 years old. Maybe he can be a good, solid piece for the future. Tevin Jenkins was a steal, in my opinion, second round. Of course, it did start getting his hype later in the year, where he, we were sure that he was going to go in the first round. But... He went in the early second. I, I can take that. Pick number 39, I think, I, I want to say. So, yeah, Tevin Jenkins, star better development, 70 overall. That's pretty good. Uh, defense, Khalil Mack is definitely one of the best pass rushers of this decade, no question. 93 power moves, 89 finesse moves, 93 block shed. Yeah, I mean, he's amazing. He is also 30, but for now, he we're keeping him. We're keeping him. Uh, Bilal Nichols is in here, Eddie Goldman, Kai Iris Tonga, former BYU Cougar, and Akeem Hicks. Roquan Smith, Danny Trevathan, and Robert Quinn. Jeremiah Tauchu is also in here. I don't really like Danny Trevathan starting, I'll be honest with you. He is 31 years old and he only has normal. So, the moment I can trade him, I will take that opportunity. Uh, Eddie Jackson's in here. Pretty good player. Tashawn Gibson as well. Jalen Johnson had a pretty decent rookie year. Desmond Trufant's pretty good. They don't really have corners. Desmond Trufant, I'll be honest, while he is decently good, 
He's 30 years old, and he's only a 79 overall. He's o his overall is only go going to go down, so I might as well just trade him, and the value could be the highest it probably will be in this rebuild. Artie Burns is in here. Former first-round pick, I want to say, by the Steelers. Uh, I mean, clearly didn't pan out. Uh, Kendall Wildor is in here as well, and I think Xavier Crawford. Or maybe Zavin. I, I don't really care. He's not going to be starting for us. This team definitely has pieces, but it has a lot of meh or just straight-up bad positions. Jason Peters, he cannot be my future left tackle. It's just not going to happen. Sam Mustafer is probably not going to be our starting center next season at a 64 overall. Defense, it's probably middle linebacker. Outside linebacker is also pretty bad. Robert Quinn's 31 years old. A rebuild is about building for the future. And a lot of these players just don't fit that fit that description. Uh, Tashawn Gibson is another guy, 31 years old. We're, we're going to have to do a lot of trading at the start of the season. And the team is going to look really bad. But I hope that means we can build for the future. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's exactly what I want to do. Bro, look at this. $14.7 million cap hit? Are you kidding me? Robert Quinn, my goodness, man. Maybe you were good at one point in your career. Not really anymore. Let's not overestimate your worth, alright? Let's just not. Oh my goodness, Jermaine. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, they stopped that glitch. Like, in, uh, in previous days, and oh, or a couple of weeks ago, you couldn't even trade your right tackle. Now you can, apparently, because it would show, like, left tackle and then left tackle, and then your right tackle would just be, I, I don't know where he is. So you had to convert him to a blind side protector just to trade him. Tevin Jenkins is moving to right. Jermaine Effetti is getting traded. 4.25 million? That, that's a joke. Jermaine Effetti has interest. Can Madden stop with the jokes? You're making me laugh out loud. As you can see, the amusement in my voice. The Packers want him. I, I can understand why, you know, get an, um, an amazing top five right tackle alongside one of the worst left tackles in the league, David Bakhtiari. That was sarcasm. Please don't think that was true. That was sarcasm. Uh, Randall Cobb is obviously in here. If we could trade for Devontae Adams, I would. But it's just not going to happen. I might just want to trade for a first-round pick. Like, it, as you can see here, if I go into draft picks, we don't have a first... Excuse me, what? Oh, so we do have a first-round pick, actually. Normally, what I would do is I would just trade this pick to the Giants for the worst player on their roster and then just cut him. But I actually try... I'm going to try and cheat. I'm going to try and trade this pick because it's projected to be number one overall. And I'm going to trade Jermaine Effetti as well. Obviously, we can't have that pick. So, it's good that we're giving it away, but I, I have to cheat here, man. This team is really bad. Maybe we can get... A really good player along with for this package a first round pick Jermaine Effetti and Robert Quinn my goodness their talents just making me topple Darius Williams would be an interesting one though he, he would be an interesting pickup but I'm having trouble to find a team we can trade with I just am do I try and get a pass rusher do, is that what I try and do here? Like, potentially Odafe Owe? What what was his, what would his finesse moves be? 89 speed is pretty decent. 74 power moves, actually. He could be good for the future. I just don't want him on my team. Uh, what about... What about Aziz Owe? Oh, you know, I, I know who I want to get. But, I'm going to hang on with the suspense. And I'm not going to show you the team I'm going to be trading with. Boom. Oh, man, actually. 
Yeah, I mean, boom, I guess. It's a decent package. Of course, shipping off the projected number one overall pick could have definitely gotten us more. But I didn't really want a first round pick this year. So, I just tried to limit the amount I could get. Basically, Robert Quinn, the projected number one overall pick in Jermaine Effetti, gets me Jeremiah Owusu koromoa and a second round pick. By the way, they value Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa at one star, so maybe it wasn't it wasn't hard to trade for him at all. And now I'm feeling kind of bad that I made that trade. Oh no! All right, next person out the door, Andy Dalton. Just kidding. When I when I press X on him, I can't trade. There's there's a couple of glitches with Madden 22 right now. And this one's probably one of the more annoying ones. Like, why can't I trade when I click on a player? There we go. Andy Dalton. He has interest. So this could get very interesting. This definitely could. This is going to be the trade involving Andy Dalton. We're also shipping off Damian Williams and Desmond Trufant. And we're getting CJ Garner-Johnson. He's, I think, going to stick at strong safety. And then we can trade to sh Okay, come on, dude. Do, do I have to back out and then come back in just so I can trade? That's gonna be annoying. But, now Tishon Gibson can leave. Danny Trevathan. Have, have I shipped him off already? I, I can't remember. But, Tishon Gibson, senior, apparently. Uh, yeah, Danny Trevathan. And... Who else? Akeem Hicks is definitely a guy who I would like to trade immediately because 88 overall star dev, 31 years old, is definitely not going to have much value in the future. So while it may seem dumb now, this could be the best move for the future, is all I'm going to say. I can trade, though, for a pass rusher to replace Akeem Hicks, and I think I know who I want to get, and I think he's on the New York Giants. Second round pick out of Georgia, Aziz Ojulari. This could be an, a curious trade for a lot of you. But I do think that this could be the move. If we can add in Dexter Lawrence or Leonard Williams, that would just be luxury gets. Oh my god, okay. Yep, this is Madden. I, I guess Akeem Hicks has a ton of value now. Uh, he, Akeem Hicks, Danny Trevathan, and Sean Gibson... By the way, they only view, uh, value Hicks at uh, yellow, so that's interesting. But we replaced Hicks in a really good way, getting Aziz Ojulari, who's going to be playing left end, and then Dexter Lawrence, who's going to be probably moving in to a 3-4 nose tackle role, which is, pro which is what he is, all right? You can't deny it. That's basically what he was at Clemson. But I think I'm done trading, and we just pulled off a massive one. So if we look at our team now, by the way, I've spent 13 minutes and I've not even simulated a season. But if we look at our team now, it's going to look much better. So if I, if, and it probably will look even better once I convert some positions around on the defense. It, it's going to look pretty decent. Okay, there we go. So Alec Ogletree will be starting. But remember, this is temporary. This is not going to be for the future. But Aziz Ojulari, 71 overall, left end. And Dexter Lawrence went up to, and is going to be an 83 overall. So now if we look at this team, really the only hole is our corners and center, and maybe left tackle. I, th I think we're ready, finally, to simulate to the midseason mark. If you wonder why I simulate to the midseason mark, it's because I just I want to re-sign as many as many players as I can, and I want to see how our rec how our season's going. Obviously, it can be misleading at times. Like you can start off eight and zero in Madden, and you can finish eleven and five. I've seen that happen before, and it annoys me. It really does. Or another example, I've seen a team from go from two and six to ten and six. That's pretty cool. I think my audio just cut out there, but what I was saying was, if you didn't hear me, because it looked like my audio cut off, 
but I've seen a team go from two and six to ten and six. It, it's happened before. As George Kittle's having an amazing year passing, and has thrown for two thousand seventy-seven yards, seventeen touchdowns, and eight picks. Pretty good year for George Kittle as a quarterback. Can they fix that, please? The Packers are doing pretty good, seven and zero. You know, but we're second in the division, and players ready to negotiate. Let's see some big names. All right, then. Maybe less big names. Allen Robinson, I'm not very comfortable giving him a four-year deal. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I forgot to put Darnell Mooney in a slot. Oh no, 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 no. Mm, I, for I forgot to do that. that that's, a, that, that's very annoying. I'm going to have to spend some staff points as well. I'll do that off camera. But Darnell Mooney has to be in the slot. Riley Ridley? Are you kidding me? Riley Ridley. Is that the best you could come up with? <sighs> come on, man. But, there you go. Darnell Mooney's in the slot now. He sh he probably won't have a great year because, you know, Riley Ridley was unbelievable, apparently, maybe. But Allen Robinson, like I was saying, I'm just not comfortable giving him a four-year deal. He's going to be 32. He's going to be going down in overall. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to franchise tag him. I'm gonna t He's going to be a tag and trade kind of guy. So I'm going to sign him to a five-year deal. No, I'm not. That's exactly the opposite of what I was saying. I'm going to try and make him decline. Right? So I'm going to give him a really, really bad offer. And, oh, no, not that much. But if, if he accepts this, yeah, I mean, come on. But... Allen Robinson is just going to be a tag and trade guy where we can get a ton of value for him, in my opinion. But James Daniels, on the other hand, he's only 23 years old. Seven-year deal for him. He'll be back. Bilal Nichols, no. At least for now. I'm not, I'm not going to be playing him as a defensive end. It's just not going to happen. But we'll simulate to the playoffs. I'll see you there. We're, we went 11-6, and six, made the playoffs, and we're facing the New Orleans Saints. Something tells me we're not going to be doing pretty good, but let's check out the league. Oh my goodness, Trevor Lawrence, calm down. 5,000 yards. Tom Brady must be pissed because he didn't even pass for 6,000. He passed for 5,999. But if you look at this here, it doesn't look like we had any league leaders. I'm not really surprised about anything except for the fact that Khalil Mack actually didn't lead in sacks, or at least wasn't in the top three. Justin Fields, pretty good rookie year, but didn't break the rookie record because Trevor Lawrence is even better. Uh, yearly awards, Lamar Jackson won MVP. Justin Fields had an unbelievable year. Vote for him. Come on, that, that's just not logic. Christian McCaffrey is NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Justin Fields at 9. He had an unbelievable year. Come on. Let's vouch for him here. Khalil Mack at 3 for Defensive Player of the Year. However, he wasn't in the top 3 for sacks. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Justin Fields. Not really surprised. Devontae Smith was at 5. Khalil Herbert at 9 as well. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Owusu Koromo at 2. Oju Lari at 4. Maybe it was a good idea for, to trade for those two guys, but Justin Fields, 14 picks. Maybe he could have s cut down on the picks, but 31 touchdowns, nearly 4,800 yards. Great rookie season for uh, the guy out of Ohio State. Foles, Nick Foles also. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to talk about that. But Nick Foles, pretty good year, actually. One out of one for negative one yards. He had 100% completion percentage. Really accurate. David Montgomery, I think, had a pretty good season, you know. 293 carries for 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns. Eh, not much. You know, also averaging 5.1 per carry, 41 broken tackles. Not a great year, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Allen Robinson's really pushing for him to get extended. Riley Ridley at 1,000 yards. Goodness. But Allen Robinson, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Cole Komet, great season, 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. Of course, I would have liked him to get more touchdowns, but Darnell Mooney only had 693 yards. That is not good. Blocking, Tevin Jenkins could have done worse. 
But Sam Mustafer is playing like an all-pro center right here. Let up five sacks? Hmm, something ain't right. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> 125 tackles, three for loss, one sack, and two picks for Roquan Smith. Khalil Mack casually had 15 tackles for loss and 18 and a half sacks. Decent year. Dexter Lawrence, 14 for loss, six sacks. Azizo Jolari, oh, he actually did pretty good. Ousu Koromoa had an interception, five and a half sacks. I don't understand why he was at two and was above Aziz Ojulari uh, for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Ojulari had six sacks. He had five and a half. I guess he had the more well-rounded year. But, come on, he's a pass rusher. O you, get, you have to give Ojulari some credit for having a pretty decent rookie year. Bilal Nichols just doesn't deserve, what was he asking for, $8.5 a year? No. Eddie Jackson had four picks. Why should I try? Jalen Johnson at three. CJ Gardner Johnson at three. We were pretty much stacked on picks. So that's pretty cool. But can we be the Saints? I, I hope not. I mean, you don't really have a pick. So actually, maybe we do. Let's let's go for a playoff in the beginning. <laughs> Let's just do an upgrade, though. 126 staff points. Yeah, that, that's a pretty hefty amount there, but... We'll, we'll spend some staff points, and then we'll see if we can beat the Saints. Okay, so we have spent about 50 staff points. Maybe 70, actually. But we'll advance week. We're not going to beat the Saints. It's just... We, we'll... So here I am. Raving on and on how we're not. Dude, my video audio just cut out. I, I don't know how much you could hear. Oh no. But, anyways, as I was saying, stop cutting out, okay? Stop. But, here I am, raving on and on about how we cannot beat the Saints. And we beat them by two. I was, if you didn't hear, I, I don't know, alright? I'm sorry if I'm repeating stuff, but I was, I was so confident. I really was. But here we are in the divisional round. We have team meetings. I'm just going to skip those. Um, I, I'm happy if we can go to the conference. I, I don't expect to, but alright, yeah, so we lost. But only by a margin of three, so we were really competitive in the playoffs, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty good for our future, maybe com competing for a Super Bowl, who knows. But in my team rankings, we were really bad defensively compared to our offense, but the defense actually wasn't that bad. It was middle of the pack, it's just the offense was just way better. The contract extended, can I get fired? Alright, that, that scares me a little, but we'll advance week similarly to the offseason. I have a good feeling about this rebuild. I think we're going to be doing really, really good upgrade players. Justin Fields. That, that superstar development, right? Come on. Star. He had one of the best rookie seasons of all time. Do you not comprehend that, Madden? Please. Throw out your mid was up. Uh, is up t or increased by three. How does Fields not go up to Superstar? I don't get it. Uh, we'll take a look at the team. Manage roster, adjust lineup. We'll see who had a development trade upgrade. If Riley Ridley had one, I'm going to be really upset. All right, he didn't. However, David Montgomery did, and that's a huge one. Um, really proves that he's the running back for the future. He had a really really good season, so he, he deserves it. Jason Peters somehow isn't regressing that hard. He's 30, what, 40? Oh, okay. So Jalen Johnson was up to superstar development. That's pretty cool. Corner of the future. But Jeremiah Wusu koromoa at a 75 overall, received superstar. He'll love to see it. Ojulari is still stuck at star, but you love to see superstar for Usu Kormoa. 
none. I don't see any others. I don't see any others. So, we should be good. Yeah, we should be good. But, staff week, if we can, we can actually look at the staff moves. This is, this is pretty cool. And, wow, okay. So, this is an interesting way to rebuild your team. Oh, I'm seeing even more interesting things, but Sean McDermott fired. Brandon Staley, they didn't even give him a chance. They just said, hey, one year you, you sucked, fine, get get out, get out of here. We don't like you. Frank Reich was fired. The Colts are trying to do everything they can to get rid of Carson Wentz. Joe Judge is fired. Mike Tomlin was fired. And then he was hired by the Giants. And our defensive coordinator was fired as well. How bad did the Chargers do, dude? This is this is very interesting. What happened? What did the Chargers do wrong? Excuse the voice crack there. Where can I see the records? Can I? Oh, oh no. Oh, come, come on. It's not in stats and awards. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to figure it, things out here. Excuse me. Schedule. Alright, here it is. We'll, we'll just go team schedule. And we'll go to the Chargers. Uh, regular season. Oh, okay. 0-6 start. Yeah, not, not a great year. Not a great year. How many wins? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 and 13. That's a reasonable firing, but still, I think you should give Brandon Staley a shot. I mean, first-year head coach, man. You, you gotta cut him some slack. But, re-sign players. Allen Robinson is gonna be at the top of that list, and I am telling you right now, I am not going to offer him a contract. I'm going to franchise tag him, and we'll see from there. So, $18 million is going to Allen Robinson. And we'll, we'll just trade them. We need to get some value for them. So, we'll advance to stage one of the offseason. Usually, Devontae Adams is in free agency. So, I'm looking at him. And there he is, Devontae Adams and Wyatt Teller. Raheem Mostert's an 80. I mean, we could definitely get some players. Poor Akeem Hicks. He just got released by whatever team we traded him to. I think it was the Giants, maybe? I think the Giants? And Akeem Hicks has already been released. J.K. Scott is going to be signed. But, guys who I'm looking uh, are absolutely Devontae Adams and Wyatt Teller. I'm offering both of them. Devontae Adams, I'll give him a bad contract. Wyatt Teller does have some competition. So, I'll probably just give him a decent contract, but... If we could get Devontae Adams and Wyatt Teller, that would be huge additions to our team. That would be amazing. The contracts have been offered. I, I We were at the top of the contract list. Come on. Devontae Adams is still on our only offer. And J.K. Scott is coming. He's coming to the Bears. I'm kind of worried now about Devontae Adams, and I might need to stick with Allen Robinson. J.K. Scott accepted. He's stalling. He's stalling, and he's stalling hard. And there it is. Chargers are offering him. They're not offering him that good of a deal, though. So if I can up this, I, I don't want the bonus to be high. So when I if I try and cut him, the cap penalty wouldn't be too high. That's my strat here. Yeah, the Chargers offered him a pretty decent deal. And we're going to have to up this salary a ton to get him. Okay, so maybe the bonus does have an impact a bit. So maybe the bonus will bring that up. I'm not paying him $29 million a year, though. So it's probably going to be around, like, this deal. But he should accept this. Yeah, there you go. So we're probably going to get Devontae Adams. Not probably. We will get Devontae Adams. Um... Who else can we get? Excuse the voice crack, but who else can we get? Is there anyone who is decent? 
John Brown, nah. Uh, maybe. Oh, I, I saw that guy. Yeah, Emmanuel Mosley, maybe. I, I don't know. Oh, Jason Myers is going to be signed as well, though, because we do need a kicker. So we'll sign him to the team. These are just special team offers that, uh, so that I, I don't have to worry about the position for the remainder of the rebuild. But Devontae Adams is coming. Josh Myers. Josh Myers. Jason Myers. We're going to cancel that part out. Jason Myers. I, I knew that. Is coming. We're li we're, we like that. We like that. Trade center, though. Now we can trade Allen Robinson. He's just taking up too much of my cap. And plus, I don't need Allen Robinson when I have Devontae Adams. $37 million combined is going to both of them. I would much rather get rid of him. I would much rather trade him to a team who has a good receiver. That can really help us out. Guys like Jerry Judy, maybe. I don't actually know... This rebuild is kind of making me think. If I look through here, Auden Tate's on the Colts. And by the way, I have a really bad receiving core. I don't know what I want to do in this trade. I really don't. <clears throat> this is the trade, but we can't do it. So, we're going to be doing this after the draft. Because that's when it could be better. People could tell me that, oh, you should just turn the salary cap off. That's not really realistic. Just, oh, one day. The NFL decided that we're going to remove the salary cap, so anything can happen. I, I, just, I don't want to do that. But we'll take a look at the draft board. I'm, I'm trading up. The second round, or projected second round, who is a corner, potentially. The corners are all, oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to have to trade up for this dude right here. Mark Cormier. Interesting name, but A- minus man in zone. This guy is an 80 overall here. This guy is also not too bad, but I would much rather have Mark Mark, or Mark, Mark Cormier. Ben McGee, I'm just not going to get him. Uh, he's an early first rounder. Mark Cormier, also projected early. Oh, I'm not getting him then. He's a really good player, and I just had to get, gonna give up. I I, I'm, I I have to give up. But Randall Griffin is looking pretty good. These are the, the two guys who I'm looking at right now: Isaiah Jeffrey and Cole Fuller. Both had six point nine combine grades, so that's pretty notable. But mm, this is this is gonna be hard with a second round pick. Nate McMillan, though, pretty good run stopper. I'm just trying to open up to different players and forget about that corner. I just can't. That corner's unbelievable, and it's the biggest position of need for us. If we can somehow, some way, manage a trade and trade up to, like, pick number four or something with the Detroit Lions, I I'm doing it. There's no shot I'm not. So if we can trade two second round picks, oh, we can, we might just be able to get this done with a second and a first. Because it's also projected to be the first projected number one overall pick. So if we can go to the Lions here and ask for their number four overall pick in return, would they accept this? Yep. There you go. We still retain a second round pick while doing this as well. So... We pick at number four. If he goes by any chance at number three, I will be really upset. I will be very much upset. We'll simulate to the next pick. Chargers take Dylan Sharpton. Not the best pick at number one overall. Bills, Lamarcus McLean. The Eagles do need a corner. Oh my goodness. Okay. But, if they do need a corner, there's one above them. Ben McGee, actually no, two above them. Ben McGee and Zach Bush. Do you really need that dumb, stupid corner, Mark Cormier? He's so terrible. They need Virgil Lucas. Three straight years where they take a receiver in the first round. 
Mm, but I, that feels really bad. But you know who I'm going with. Mark Cormier out of Minnesota. 80 overall. He's the number two player in the class. Have I missed out on some guy better? But 82 man, 82 zone, 91 speed. With hidden development. 80 overall. We pulled an 80. Let's go. And we're probably going to trade to the top of the second. I, I didn't pay attention. So I don't... I don't remember who had the number one overall pick. So that's just going to be time consuming there, but I, I didn't mean to do that. But who had the number one overall pick? If I could get number 33, that would be nice. Where's number 33? Come on. I mean, number 34 is sufficient. We'll just do that. We'll just do that. A two and a three it gets the deal done. Number 34 is coming to Chicago. We are... We are maneuvering around the board here. Because we're trying to get good players in the draft. But I wonder who's the best player in the draft then. If 80 overall wasn't, who is? Alright, so there's a chance we might be tied. Ben McGee is also an 80 overall. If there's an 81 in this draft, I'll be shocked. Yeah, there's probably not. We'll simulate to the next user pick. Where we should have some decent players on the board. I'll be honest. We did put quite a bit of players on my board. Not quite a bit, but a decent amount. And Nate McMillan is right up there. He is 23, but he's athletic. He's 6'3", 303, and ran a 4.76. It's that's just unbelievably athletic. Cole Fuller is okay. The guy I'm looking at is Isaiah Jeffrey. 22 years old. Not really that athletic as well. I think Nate McMillan's going to be the pick here. 77 overall hit in development. And the hold X3 order sign may be blocking it, but 78 block shed. 75 power moves, 94 strength. Yeah, this guy's more of a nose tackle. So I could make an interesting decision and move Dexter Lawrence back to defensive end and then play Nate McMillan there. Because I think he had definitely has more potential for the future. But pretty good draft for us. Uh, really eventful as well, may I, may I point out. But we like to see that. 80 and 77. That's, that's, a pretty good, that's a pretty good total. Also, this is unbelievable. I spent 37 minutes. And I still have about maybe one or two seasons to go. Okay, but we're an 84 overall across the board. Draft recap. I'm just checking it to see who was the best player in the draft. Was it was it Ben McGee? Yeah, it was. We were tied, actually. So, Ben, ben is definitely more athletic. Is he? Oh, he's actually not better. We have one more, one better zone coverage. One overall better. And... If you're wondering why I still have 77 staff points, it's because of this. If I go to franchise staff, and if I go to Matt Nagy, I should be able to click on We've Seen Enough, and we'll go Mark Cormier. There you go. Mark Cormier. His development trait should not be hidden anymore. No more must we rack our brains on a virtual football game. Can I advance me, please? Thank you. I'm... I'm... I don't know why I'm getting a little bit anxious. Oh, wait, this is new. Hall of Fame induction? It's frozen. Okay, it's just not gonna do anything. Th oh my goodness. Clap, 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 clap. I see the players giving their speeches. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. It did something. DeMarcus Ware. Alright, but we're not going to watch this then. Plus five finesse moves for all... <laughs> what? I don't understand. We just... Okay, I, I didn't really want to look at anything. But adjust lineup. The suspense is unbelievable. I didn't even trade Allen Robinson. I need to do that right now. But 
Mark Cormier, oh my, oh goodness, okay. The disappointment, oh, oh, that is, that is not good. Star development for an 80 overall guy. Not what, exactly what you like to see, but we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it. It's better than normal. That's very annoying. Star development for an, a stu uh, an unbelievable player out of Minnesota. He deserves better. Come on. But Dexter Lawrence moves back to right end. And then I think his name is Nate McMillan. He will be starting. So there you go. We will be trading Allen Robinson, adjusting the specialist, and then we will be simulating to the playoffs. Not the playoffs. The midseason. Booyah is the word. Allen Robinson and a five for Jalen Waddle, Mike Gesicki, Jerome Baker. If you didn't see my last one, I did tell you that Jalen Waddle was, according to me, the best receiver in the draft because he just could do everything. Well, that's why I traded for him. So if now if I go into the depth chart and if I go to slot wide receiver, J oh, now, now you put Darnell Mooney in, huh? Now you think, oh, come on, dude. Darnell Mooney will be second, and then Devontae Adams at three. Jalen Waddell, hopefully he has a pretty good year. I may change the Tennessee playbook if I can find out where it is. Jalen Waddell is going to be a star at the end of this season. He really is going to be. Four and two at the midseason mark. We have a way better defense than offense, apparently, and we have a breakout player challenge. For none other than David Montgomery. So I wonder if he is having an unbelievable year. I mean, 200 yards or four touchdowns. I, I don't see that happening, but league leaders receiving. Oh, come on. Is Tennessee not the best receiving playbook in the league anymore? I mean, it used to be. It just used to be a glitch. Ben McGee's doing unbelievable three interceptions, but. Oh, no. Come on. Najee Harris is also uh, the league leader in receiving yards, but or rushing yards, but two players ready to negotiate, and those, oh, okay. Okay. We have some big names here. Roquan Smith is getting a seven-year deal because he's just better. He's, better. he's way better than any middle linebacker in free agency, in my opinion or at least coming into free agency this or next year. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, five-year deal for him. He's back. Dexter and David, we're going to have to wait till the end of the season. But we'll simulate to the playoffs. I'm trying to take not as... No, no! Does clicking X just lead you to an interview now? I don't want... I... Please... Goodness. We'll stimulate to the playoffs. As I was saying. Okay. I don't know if we made them. Oh, we did. We, I think we got a first round by then. 12 and 5. This screen was just so awkward. I felt like we didn't make it. But Devontae Adams, by the way, is wearing number 9. But Okay, I, I guess we got a first round by. I, I don't know. Demarcus Robinson, 1,600 yards, 18 touchdowns, wow. Decent year for him. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We need to talk about something. And I would assume you've already seen it. Fields actually wasn't that good, by the way. So, that was interesting. Um, no Bears for MVP. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Ezekiel Elliott. Did I? No, I didn't see a Bear. No Bears. Defensive Player of the Year, Aaron Donald. Khalil Mack at two. Uh, by the way, D. Ford is reviving his career with the Rams, so good for him. Matthew Myers wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. No Bears, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Mark Cormier. There we go. Much better. And Nate McMillan, only at 8. I'm assuming that's because he didn't have many sacks, but Justin Fields, 10 interceptions, 31 touchdowns, nearly 3,900 yards. Decent season for him. Montgomery... 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Yeah, he didn't get Superstar X-Factor. But good year for him as well. Receiving Adams. 
11 yard yards, 10 touchdowns. Mooney was pretty good. Jalen Waddle actually didn't do too good. So I'm starting to think that maybe Tennessee playbook isn't the way to go. Um, yeah, I think you see it now. But Orange 17 tackles, 8 for loss, 2.5 sacks for Roquan Smith. Great year for him. Jalen Johnson was 112 tackles and 5 interceptions is pretty good. 20 and a half sacks, though, is on another planet. Not even on, a, on another planet. In another galaxy. In another universe. 20 and a half sacks. Great year for Khalil Mack. 10 tackles for losses for Aziz Ojulari. Only had 3 sacks. Owusu Koromoa could have been better. 5 picks for Mark Cormier. There we go, Mark. That's what I'm talking about. And five for Jalen Johnson. So, oh my goodness, 207 staff points. Did we break a record or something? I already checked out the early awards. But we'll spend staff points after we uh, finish the playoffs. 12-5 and five is a pretty good record. We're facing the Cardinals in the wild card. Or, excuse me, in the divisional. We'll, we'll beat them. Or not. My contract was extended. I, I, may, I may be asking this for the second time, but can you actually get fired? I, I don't know. Upgrade players. Mark Cormier with two. That, that's superstar. That's almost certain. Mm. Five interceptions and you don't give this guy superstar? Madden, please, come on. Y you gotta be better. Five picks in your rookie year. This is Marcus Peters. Instead, he had eight in his rookie year. But plus four press at the last upgrade, so the press is into the 70s. We take a look at the team. Uh, manage roster, here it is. Adjust lineup. Any development trade upgrades? I would like some. Jalen Waddle, I think he had Superstar, right? Yeah, he had Superstar, so that I'm not really that amazed about it. Um, oh, I forgot about Mike Gesicki. I didn't even see his numbers. Defense, Owusu Kormo went down. Baker went up. Mack went down. Whoa. He had 20 and a half sacks. What are you talking about? The defensive tackle had start. He wasn't starting. Did it just, uh, whatever. Jalen Johnson's up to superstar X Factor that's so huge. He's 24 years old, only an 83 overall, but he's unbelievable. He's been really good for us. If he can get like 10 picks, this guy's the best corner in the league. Not really, but he's pretty good. Free signed players David Montgomery and one other dude should be in here as well. Who is it? Dexter Lords. There we go. Both of them are getting contracts. They just are. They're just really... They're, they're too good to not give contracts to. So, Montgomery's back. Lawrence, though, is... Tag him like he's an unbelievable player. $22 million. I'm just not ready to do that. I'm not going to pay him $22 million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into free agency and I'm going to sign him back. It's just the best offer, or best choice to do. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, so this is a pretty decent free agency. If we're wanting to get better, Tom Brady is almost certainly the move. Devin McCourty, uh, J.J. Watt, all of them are really young, quality players. Richie Incognito as well is really young. Um, but yeah. That's sarcasm. All of that was sarcasm. You uh, you get that. You can see their age. But I'm going to up Dexter Lawrence's deal. This is pretty much what I gave him, actually. Uh, but instead of a three-year deal, I don't know why he rejected. He's just too greedy, I guess. We all want more money, Dexter. We all do. There we go. That, that should be an easy acceptance. I don't know who else to go after, though. Like, Tyreek Hill and Jair would be on really good signings for us. But we have Devontae Adams and Jalen Waddle. However, Waddle's only an 82 overall. And if we're coming into our final year, we may look to win now. 
So we may make some huge, huge free agent signings. That that this free agency is gonna be big. So I couldn't get Jair or Josh Allen, but I could get Dexter Lawrence and back Dexter Lawrence back and Tyreek Hill. So our receiving core is casually the best in the league. We have two uncoverable receivers in Jail Model and Tyreek Hill, and we also have two of the best receivers in the league, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams. You love to see it. But we'll stimulate to the draft. Stat points will be used at the end of the draft. I forgot to do it in the offseason. This season is the year when we make the Super Bowl. We don't have a pick. If there's anyone good, I'm trading up for them. You you saw how ferocious I was <laughs> to get Mark Cormier. But maybe there's not anyone as good. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, taking a look at this draft class, there's not really many players that I need to trade up for. So, we're just going to stay in the second round. And we're going to make sure that we get players that we want that really fit what I describe as a good pick. That was uh, too many unnecessary words in that sentence. But... Still, a draft board, oh, so the center's actually off the board, so I didn't even manage to get a center in the entire rebuild. So now it goes comes down to Bruce Paul or Damon Mullins. I'll take Mullins first, 74 overall. Actually a really good player, 88 speed, 85 catching. So, yeah, I mean, I'll take that. And the other dude should be available. He's fourth round projected. A receiver out of, I think, LSU, if I'm not mistaken. Make my selection. Pick player and go to the draft board. And he's not available. Ha ha. Hilarious. Is, is that what I... Is that what I do? Actually, Nick Esquivel. I hate the name, but he's coming to town. 71 overall. Normal development. But he's actually pretty good. So, I like him as an addition to the team. But we t couldn't really get any star better development players. Or hidden development. But, the draft overall was a win for us. Because the players that we got were good value for the place they were drafted. I don't really care about the draft class. All I care about right now is winning. And, I am going to have to win... Under any circumstance. I, I don't I don't mean to click on that. Stop. Please and thank you. There you go. Advance week. Next week I'm probably um I, I'm not gonna watch the Hall of Fame induction. You're not you're not tricking me. You're not tricking me. Manage staff. We'll spend all the staff points we can. It's just not gonna show up. Or are you seeing this? Come on, man. You gotta be better. There there should not be this many glitches. Can I click on it and this time it'll load? Oh. Huh. Something went wrong. Whatever. Come on, man. Please, please, please. Don't shake up my progress. That's all. I. Of course this happens, right? In the middle... When the suspense happens, uh, this is this is when all the dumb things ha happen and, you know, stupid stuff. If they don't save my progress, I will be definitely mad. R really mad. Let's be honest. Really mad. Who wouldn't be? When you've built a juggernaut of a team in three years, you would kind of expect that your team should be saved, right? In this case, they are. So we can go back into the rebuild. So that's... That's comforting. That's comforting. Um, I'm not gonna manage staff points, I guess, because I, I saw what happened last time. So then, I guess, manage roster depth chart. Tyree Kill in the slot with Devontae Adams behind. This is the final year. We're gonna have to do something in order to make this work. Actually... 
I lied. Tyreek Hill will be in the slot, and then Devontae Adams will be at three. Yeah, that, that's how it's going to work. But final year, we're just going to simulate to the playoffs because I don't have to re-sign anybody. The suspense is unreal. It really is. 11-6. and six. So this may seem like a decent record to you. Ian Book? Okay. But this may seem like a decent record, 11-6. and six. I was just expecting more, I'll be honest. Stats and awards. Justin Fields was just so terrible. Oh. They were, Madden was realistic. Mmm. I was stupid. Of course, they're gonna run. They're gonna run more than they're gonna pass. Derrick Henry just nearly won MVP. But okay, I, I should have used my common sense and not used Madden Twenty One's principles. Ian Book was really good. Apparently, defensive player of the year Khalil Mack, sack attack. Offensive rookie of the year is David Rose, Cole Flemons, and Chris Roberts. Two guys that I know. And defense rookie of the year, really? Wait, we didn't take a defensive player, so never mind. Yes, really. Justin Fields is really, really bad. Not not bad, but 58% completion percentage and only throwing for 3,400 yards. Or, yeah, 3,400 yards. You would have expected more. David Montgomery, 1,400 yards, 9 touchdowns. He's getting a ton of carries. Khalil Herbert has secretly been doing decent, actually. He's been averaging three and a half yards per carry most of his career, but he's getting better, really. So, not bad. Devontae Adams, 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns. Hill was decent. Gesicki was not good. Darnell Mooney. Jalen Waddell was unbelievable. Five for 48 the entire season. Oh, I'm in fear. Okay, so I'm seeing a very curious stat here, but 113 tackles, 4 for loss, 2 and a half sacks, 2 picks for Roquan Smith, 21 tackles for loss for Eddie Goldman, 15 for Alusu Koromoa, 14 for Dexter Lawrence, 11 for Aziz Ojulari, 19 sacks for Khalil Mack, who also had 4 picks, so I guess he was dropping into coverage, Lawrence had 6.5, Goldman, Ojulari, 5, okay, picks, 5 for Baker, 4 for Mack, Four for Gardner Johnson. Four for Johnson. Uh, Cormier had two. And Vildor and Graham had one. If I've said the suspense is unreal before, it is now. It is now. Okay. Advancing. The Cowboys always do good in Sim. Me smacking my lips in disgust. 11 and 6, and we lose in the wild card round of the playoffs. Yep. That feels really good. 85 offense, 86 defense, 86 overall. Lost to the Cowboys. I'm 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 quiet. I I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna do another season because the video is already too long. It's gone on for an hour. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed because I put a ton of this a ton of effort into this rebuild and it didn't really work. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.